Afroasiatic, Afroasiatic, also known as Afrasian and in older sources as Hamito-Semitic, Chimito-Semitic, or Semito-Hamitic, is a large language family of about 300 languages. It includes languages spoken predominantly in West Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa and parts of the Sahel. Afroasiatic languages have over 495 million native speakers, the fourth largest number of any language family after Indo-European, Sino-Tibetan and Niger-Congo. The phylum has six branches, Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, Egyptian, Omotic and Semitic. By far the most widely spoken Afroasiatic language or dialect continuum is Arabic. A de facto group of distinct language varieties within the Semitic branch, the languages that evolved from Proto-Arabic have around 313 million native speakers, concentrated primarily in West Asia, North Africa. Other widely spoken Afroasiatic languages include Hausa, Chadic, the dominant language of northern Nigeria, Ghana, and southern Niger, spoken as a first language by over 40 million people and used as a lingua franca by another 20 million across West Africa and the Sahel. Oromo, Cushitic, spoken in Ethiopia and Kenya by around 34 million people. Amharic, Semitic, spoken in Ethiopia, with over 25 million native speakers in addition to millions of other Ethiopians speaking it as a second language. Somali, Cushitic, spoken by 15 million people in Somalia, Djibouti, eastern Ethiopia and northeastern Kenya. Afar, Cushitic, spoken by around 7.5 million people in Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Eritrea. Shilla, Berber, spoken by around 7 million people in Morocco Tigrinya, Semitic, spoken by around 6.9 million people in Eritrea and Ethiopia Kabyle, Berber, spoken by around 5.6 million people in Algeria Hebrew, Semitic, spoken by around 5 million people native speakers and 4 million second language speakers in Israel and worldwide Central Atlas Tamazite Berber, spoken by around 4.6 million people in Morocco. Rifian Berber, spoken by around 4.2 million people in Morocco. Garij languages Semitic, a group of languages spoken by more than 2 million people in Ethiopia in addition to languages spoken today. Afroasiatic includes several important ancient languages such as ancient Egyptian, which forms a distinct branch of the family, and Akkadian, Biblical Hebrew and Old Aramaic, all of which are from the Semitic branch. The original homeland of the Afroasiatic family, and when the parent language i.e. Proto-Afroasiatic was spoken, are yet to be agreed upon by historical linguists. Proposed locations include North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Eastern Sahara and the Levant see below. Etymology During the early 1800s, linguists grouped the Berber, Cushitic and Egyptian languages within a Hamitic Phylum, in acknowledgement of these languages' genetic relation with each other and with those in the Semitic phylum. The terms Hamitic and Semitic were etymologically derived from the Book of Genesis, which describes various biblical tribes descended from Ham and Shem, two sons of Noah. By the 1860s, the main constituent elements within the broader Afroasiatic family had been worked out. Friedrich Muller introduced the name Hamito Semitic. For the entire family in his Grundriss der Sprachwissenschaft, 1876. Maurice Delafosse 1914, later coined the term Afroasiatic, often now spelled Afroasiatic. However, it did not come into general use until Joseph Greenberg 1950, formally proposed its adoption. In doing so, Greenberg sought to emphasize the fact that Afroasiatic spanned the continents of both Africa and Asia. Individual scholars have also called the family Erythrian, Tucker 1966, and Lizramic, Hodge 1972. In lieu of Hamito-Semitic, the Russian linguist Igor Diakonov later suggested the term Afrasian, meaning half African, half Asiatic in reference to the geographic distribution of the family's constituent languages the term hamito-semitic remains in use in the academic traditions of some european countries 
distribution and branches. Scholars generally treat the Afroasiatic language family as including the following branches Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, Egyptian, Omotic, Semitic. Although there is general agreement on these six families, linguists who study Afroasiatic raise some points of disagreement, in particular, the Omotic language branch is the most controversial member of Afroasiatic, because the grammatical formatives to which most linguists have given the greatest weight in classifying languages in the family are either absent or distinctly wobbly. Hayward 1995, Greenberg 1963, and others considered it a subgroup of Cushitic, whereas others have raised doubts about it being part of Afroasiatic at all, e.g. Thiel 2006. The Afroasiatic identity of Ongota is also broadly questioned, as is its position within Afroasiatic among those who accept it, due to the mixed appearance of the language and a paucity of research and data. Harold Fleming 2006, proposes that Ongota constitutes a separate branch of Afroasiatic. Bonnie Sands 2009, finds the proposal by Sava and Tosco 2003, the most convincing, namely that Ongota is an East Cushitic language with a Nilo-Saharan substratum. In other words, it would appear that the Ongota people once spoke a Nilo-Saharan language but then shifted to speaking a Cushitic language but retained some characteristics of their earlier Nilo-Saharan language. Beja, sometimes listed as a separate branch of Afroasiatic, is more often included in the Cushitic branch, which has a high degree of internal diversity. Whether the various branches of Cushitic actually form a language family is sometimes questioned, but not their inclusion in Afroasiatic itself. There is no consensus on the interrelationships of the five non-omotic branches of Afroasiatic see section subgrouping below. This situation is not unusual, even among long established language families. Scholars also frequently disagree on the internal classification of the Indo European languages, for instance. Meroitic has been proposed as an unclassified Afroasiatic language, because it shares the phonotactics characteristic of the family, but there is not enough evidence to secure a classification. Classification history in the 9th century, the Hebrew grammarian Judah ibn Quraysh of Tiarat in Algeria was the first to link two branches of Afroasiatic together. He perceived a relationship between Berber and Semitic. He knew of Semitic through his study of Arabic, Hebrew, and Aramaic. In the course of the 19th century, Europeans also began suggesting such relationships. In 1844, Theodor Benfi suggested a language family consisting of Semitic, Berber, and Cushitic, calling the latter Ethiopic. In the same year, T. N. Newman suggested a relationship between Semitic and Hausa, but this would long remain a topic of dispute and uncertainty. Friedrich Muller named the traditional Hamito Semitic family in 1876 in his Grundriss der Sprachwissenschaft, Outline of Linguistics, and defined it as consisting of a Semitic group plus a Hamitic group containing Egyptian, Berber, and Cushitic. He excluded the Chadic group. It was the Egyptologist Carl Richard Lepsius who restricted Hamitic to the non-Semitic languages in Africa, which are characterized by a grammatical gender system. This Hamitic language group was proposed to unite various, mainly North African, languages, including the ancient Egyptian language, the Berber languages, the Cushitic languages, the Beja language, and the Chadic languages. Unlike Muller, Lepsius considered that Hausa and Nama were part of the Hamitic group. These classifications relied in part on non-linguistic anthropological and racial arguments. Both authors used the skin color, mode of subsistence, and other characteristics of native speakers as part of their arguments that particular languages should be grouped together. In 1912, Karl Meinhof published Die Sprechen der Hamiten, The Languages of the Hamites in which he expanded Lepsius's model, adding the Fula, Maasai, Bari, Nandi, Sandaw and Hadza languages to the Hamitic group. Meinhof's model was widely supported into the 1940s. Meinhof 
S system of classification of the Hamitic languages was based on a belief that speakers of Hamitic became largely coterminous with cattle herding peoples with essentially Caucasian origins, intrinsically different from and superior to the Negroes of Africa. However, in the case of the so-called Nilo-Hamitic languages, a concept he introduced, it was based on the typological feature of gender and a fallacious theory of language mixture. Meinhof did this although earlier work by scholars such as Lepsius and Johnston had substantiated that the languages which he would later dub Nilo-Hamitic were in fact Nilotic languages, with numerous similarities in vocabulary to other Nilotic languages. Leo Reinisch had already already proposed linking Cushitic and Chadic, while urging their more distant affinity with Egyptian and Semitic. However, his suggestion found little acceptance. Marcel Cohen 1924 rejected the idea of a distinct Hamitic subgroup, and included Hausa a Chadic language, in his comparative Hamito-Semitic vocabulary. Finally, Joseph Greenberg's 1950 work led to the widespread rejection of Hamitic as a language category by linguists. Greenberg refuted Meinhof's linguistic theories, and rejected the use of racial and social evidence. In dismissing the notion of a separate Nilo-Hamitic language category in particular, Greenberg was returning to a view widely held a half-century earlier, he consequently rejoined Meinhof's so-called Nilo-Hamitic languages with their appropriate Nilotic siblings. He also added, and sub-classified, the Chadic languages, and proposed the new name Afroasiatic for the family. Almost all scholars have accepted this classification as the new and continued consensus. Greenberg's model was fully developed in his book The Languages of Africa, 1963, in which he reassigned most of Meinhof. S. additions to Hamitic to other language families, notably Nilo-Saharan. Following Isaac Shapira and rejecting Meinhof, he classified the Koko language as a member of the Khoisan languages, a grouping that has since proven inaccurate and excessively motivated on the presence of click sounds. To Khoisan he also added the Tanzanian Hadza and Sandaw, though this view has been discredited as linguists working on these languages consider them to be linguistic isolates. Despite this, Greenberg's classification remains a starting point for modern work of many languages spoken in Africa, and the Hamitic category, and its extension to Nilo-Hamitic, has no part in this, since the three traditional branches of the Hamitic languages, Berber, Cushitic and Egyptian, have not been shown to form an exclusive monophyletic phylogenetic unit of their own, separate from other Afroasiatic languages, linguists no longer use the term in this sense. Each of these branches is instead now regarded as an independent subgroup of the larger Afroasiatic family. In 1969, Harold Fleming proposed that what had previously been known as Western Cushitic is an independent branch of Afroasiatic, suggesting for it the new name Omotic. This proposal and name have met with widespread acceptance. Several scholars, including Harold Fleming and Robert Hetzron, have since questioned the traditional inclusion of Beja in Cushitic. Glottolog does not accept that the inclusion or even unity of Omotic has been established, nor that of Ongota or the unclassified Kujarj. It therefore splits off the following groups as small families, South Omotic, Mao, Dizoid, Ganga Gimogen, North Omotic apart from the preceding, Ongota, Kujarj. Subgrouping Little agreement exists on the subgrouping of the five or six branches of Afroasiatic, Semitic, Egyptian, Berber, Chadic, Cushitic, and Omotic. However, Christopher Errett, 1979, Harold Fleming, 1981, and Joseph Greenberg, 1981, all agree that the Omotic branch split from the rest first. Otherwise, Paul Newman 1980, groups Berber with Chadic and Egyptian with Semitic, while questioning the inclusion of Omotic in Afroasiatic. Rolf Thiel 2006, concurs with the exclusion of Omotic, but does not otherwise address the structure of the family. Harold Fleming 1981, divides non-Omotic Afroasiatic, or Erythrian, into three groups, Cushitic, Semitic, and Chadic Berber Egyptian. He later added Semitic and Beja to Chadic Berber Egyptian and tentatively proposed Ongoda as a new third branch of Erythrian. 
He thus divided Afroasiatic into two major branches, Omotic and Erythrian, with Erythrian consisting of three sub-branches, Cushitic, Chadic Berber Egyptian Semitic Beja, and Ongoda. Like Harold Fleming, Christopher Eret (1995–490) divides Afroasiatic into two branches, Omotic and Erythrian. He divides Omotic into two branches, North Omotic and South Omotic. He divides Erythrian into Cushitic, comprising Beja, Aga, and East-South Cushitic, and North Erythrian, comprising Chadic and Boreophrasian. According to his classification, Boreophrasian consists of Egyptian, Berber, and Semitic. Vladimir Oral and Olga Stolbova 1995 group Berber with Semitic and Chadic with Egyptian. They split up Cushitic into five or more independent branches of Afroasiatic, viewing Cushitic as a sprachbund rather than a language family. Igor M. Diakonov subdivides Afroasiatic in two, grouping Berber, Cushitic, and Semitic together as East-West Afrasian ESA, and Chadic with Egyptian as North-South Afrasian NSA. He excludes Omotic from Afroasiatic. Lionel Bender, 1997, groups Berber, Cushitic, and Semitic together as macro -Cushitic. He regards Chadic and Omotic as the branches of Afroasiatic most remote from the others. Alexander Militaire of 2000, on the basis of lexicostatistics, groups Berber with Chadic and both more distantly with Semitic, as against Cushitic and Omotic. He places Ongoda in South Omotic. Position among the world's languages Afroasiatic is one of the four major language families spoken in Africa identified by Joseph Greenberg in his book The Languages of Africa 1963. It is one of the few whose speech area is transcontinental, with languages from Afroasiatic Semitic branch also spoken in the Middle East and Europe. There are no generally accepted relations between Afroasiatic and any other language family. However, several proposals grouping Afroasiatic with one or more other language families have been made. The best known of these are the following. Hermann Mahler 1906, argued for a relation between Semitic and the Indo-European languages. This proposal was accepted by a few linguists, e.g., Holger Peterson and Louis Helmslev. For a fuller account, see Indo-Semitic languages. However, the theory has little currency today, although most linguists do not deny the existence of grammatical similarities between both families, such as grammatical gender, noun-adjective agreement, three-way number distinction, and vowel alternation as a means of derivation. Apparently influenced by Mahler, a colleague of his at the University of Copenhagen, Holger Peterson included Hamito-Semitic, the term replaced by Afroasiatic, in his proposed Nostratic macro family, cf. Peterson 1931-336-338, also included the Indo-European, Uralic, Altaic, Yukagir languages, and Dravidian languages. This inclusion was retained by subsequent nostraticists, starting with Vladislav Ilyich Svetich and Aharon Dolgopolsky. Joseph Greenberg 2000 to 2002 did not reject a relationship of Afroasiatic to these other languages, but he considered it more distantly related to them than they were to each other, grouping instead these other languages in a separate macro family, which he called Eurasiatic, and to which he added Chukotian, Gilyak, Korean, Japanese Ryukyuan, Eskimo Aleut, and Ainu. Most recently, Sergei Starostin's school has accepted Eurasiatic as a subgroup of Nostratic, with Afroasiatic, Dravidian and Kartvelian in Nostratic outside of Eurasiatic. The even larger Borean super-family contains Nostratic as well as Dene Caucasian and Austric. Date of Afroasiatic The earliest written evidence of an Afroasiatic language is an ancient Egyptian inscription dated to c. 3400 BC, 5400 years ago. Symbols on Gerzian, Nakeda II pottery resembling Egyptian hieroglyphs date back to c. 4000 BC, suggesting an earlier possible dating. This gives us a minimum date for the age of Afroasiatic. However, ancient Egyptian is highly divergent from Proto-Afroasiatic, Trombetti 1905-1-2, and considerable time must have elapsed in between them. Estimates of the date at which the Proto-Afroasiatic language was spoken vary widely. 
They fall within a range between approximately 7,500 BC, 9,500 years ago, and approximately 16,000 BC, 18,000 years ago. According to Igor M. Diakonov, 1988-33 N, Proto-Afroasiatic was spoken c. 10,000 BC. Christopher Eret, 2002-35-36, asserts that Proto-Afroasiatic was spoken c. 11,000 BC at the latest, and possibly as early as c. 16,000 BC. These dates are older than those associated with other proto-languages. Afroasiatic or Hymat The term Afroasiatic or Hymat or Hymat meaning original homeland in German, refers to the hypothetical place where Proto-Afroasiatic language speakers lived in a single linguistic community, or complex of communities, before this original language dispersed geographically and divided into distinct languages. Afroasiatic languages are today primarily spoken in West Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, and parts of the Sahel. Their distribution seems to have been influenced by the Sahara pump operating over the last 10,000 years. There is no agreement when or where the original homeland of this language family existed. The main theories of Urheimat are the Levant, the Eastern Sahara, North Africa and the Horn of Africa. H. Eckhard Wolf proposes that Proto-Afroasiatic arose in the Fertile Crescent between 15,000 and 9,000 years BC during the Neolithic Revolution, then migrated to Africa around 8,000 BC to develop into the Egyptian, Chadic, Omotic, Cushitic and Berber branches. Similarities in grammar and syntax Widespread though not universal, features of the Afroasiatic languages include a set of emphatic consonants, variously realized as glottalized, pharyngealized, or implosive. BSO typology with SVO tendencies A two-gender system in the singular, with the feminine marked by the sound t. All Afroasiatic subfamilies show evidence of a causative affix s. Semitic, Berber, Cushitic, including Beja, and Chadic support possessive suffixes. Nisba derivation in J, earlier Egyptian or I, Semitic. Morphology in which words inflect by changes within the root, vowel changes or gemination, as well as with prefixes and suffixes. One of the most remarkable shared features among the Afroasiatic languages is the prefixing verb conjugation. See the table at the start of this section, with a distinctive pattern of prefixes beginning with tny, and in particular a pattern whereby third singular masculine, y, is opposed to third singular feminine and second singular, t. According to Eret, 1996, tonal languages appear in the Omotic and Chadic branches of Afroasiatic, as well as in certain Cushitic languages. The Semitic, Berber and Egyptian branches generally do not use tones phonemically. Shared vocabulary The following are some examples of Afroasiatic cognates, including ten pronouns, three nouns, and three verbs. Source, Christopher Eret, Reconstructing Proto-Afroasiatic, Berkeley, University of California Press, 1995, Note, Eret does not make use of Berber in his etymologies, stating, 1995-12, The kind of extensive reconstruction of Proto-Berber lexicon that might help in sorting through alternative possible etymologies is not yet available. The Berber cognates here are taken from previous version of table in this article and need to be completed and referenced, abbreviations, nom. North Omotic. Som. South Omotic. MSA. Modern South Arabian. PSC. Proto-Southern Cushitic. Pisam 2. Proto-Somali, Stage 2. Mask. Masculine. Fem. Feminine. Sing. 
singular place plural ones first person singular twos equals second person singular Symbols, following Eret, 1995-70, a caron over a vowel indicates rising tone, and a circumflex caret over a vowel indicates falling tone. B indicates a vowel of unknown quality. Indicates a glottal stop. Asterisk indicates reconstructed forms based on comparison of related languages. There are two etymological dictionaries of Afroasiatic, one by Christopher Eret, and one by Vladimir Oral and Olga Stolbova. The two dictionaries disagree on almost everything. The following table contains the 30 roots or so out of thousands that represent a fragile consensus of present research. Etymological bibliography Some of the main sources for Afroasiatic etymologies include Cohen, Marcel, 1947 Essay comparatif sur le vocabulaire et la phonétique du chimito semitique. Paris, Champion. Diakonov, Igor M. et al., 1993-1997. Historical comparative vocabulary of Afrasian. St. Petersburg Journal of African Studies 2-6. Eret, Christopher, 1995. Reconstructing Proto-Afroasiatic, Proto-Afrasian, Vowels, Tone, Consonants, and Vocabulary equals University of California Publications in Linguistics 126. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press. Oral, Vladimir E. and Olga V. Stolbova, 1995. Hamito-Semitic Etymological Dictionary, Materials for a Reconstruction. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 90-04-10051-2. See also Borean languages Indo-European languages Indo-Semitic languages Languages of Africa Languages of Asia Languages of Europe Nostratic languages Proto-Afroasiatic language References Bibliography Anthony, David, 2007. The Horse, the Wheel, and Language, How Bronze Age Riders from the Eurasian Steppes Shaped the Modern World. Princeton, Princeton University Press. Barnett, William and John Hoops, Editors, 1995. The Emergence of Pottery. Washington, D.C., Smithsonian Institution Press. ISBN 1-56098-517-8. Bender, Lionel et al., 2003. Selected Comparative Historical Afro-Asiatic Studies in Memory of Igor M. Diakonov. Lincom. Baumhard, Alan R. 1996. Indo-European and the Nostratic Hypothesis. Signum. Diakonov, Igor M. 1988. Afrasian Languages. Moscow, Naka. Diakonov, Igor M. 1996. Some Reflections on the Afrasian Linguistic Macrofamily. Journal of Near Eastern Studies 55, 293. Diakonov, Igor M. 1998. The Earliest Semitic Society, Linguistic Data. Journal of Semitic Studies 43, 209. Dimendal, Jarrett, and Erhard Boltz, 2007. Africa. In Christopher Mosley, ed., Encyclopedia of the World's Endangered Languages. Eret, Christopher, 1995. Reconstructing Proto-Afroasiatic, Proto-Afrasian, Vowels, Tone, Consonants, and Vocabulary. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press. Eret, Christopher, 1997. Abstract of. The Lessons of Deep Time Historical Comparative Reconstruction in Afroasiatic, Reflections on Reconstructing Proto-Afroasiatic, Vowels, Tone, Consonants, and Vocabulary, UC. Press, 1995. 
Paper delivered at the 25th Annual Meeting of the North American Conference on Afro-Asiatic Linguistics, held in Miami, Florida on 21-23 March 1997. Finnegan, Ruth H. 1970. Afro-Asiatic Languages West Africa. Oral Literature in Africa, PG 558. Fleming, Harold C. 2006. Ongoda, A Decisive Language in African Prehistory. Biesbaden, Otto Harrisovitz. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1950. Studies in African Linguistic Classification, IV. Hamito Semitic. Southwestern Journal of Anthropology 6, 47-63. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1955. Studies in African Linguistic Classification. New Haven, Compass Publishing Company, photo offset reprint of the SJA articles with minor corrections. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1963. The Languages of Africa. Bloomington, Indiana University, heavily revised version of Greenberg 1955. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1966. The Languages of Africa, 2nd ed., with additions and corrections. Bloomington, Indiana University. Greenberg, Joseph H. 1981. African Linguistic Classification. General History of Africa, Volume 1, Methodology and African Prehistory, edited by Joseph K. Zerbo, 292-308. Berkeley and Los Angeles, University of California Press. Greenberg, Joseph H. 2000-2002. Indo-European and its closest relatives, the Eurasiatic Language Family, Volume 1, Grammar, Volume 2, Lexicon. Stanford, Stanford University Press. Hayward, R.J. 1995. The Challenge of Omotic, an inaugural lecture delivered on 17 February 1994. London, School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. Heine, Berndt and Derek Nurse, 2000. African Languages, Chapter 4. Cambridge University Press. Hodge, Carlton T., Editor, 1971. Afroasiatic, A Survey. The Hague, Paris, Mouton. Hodge, Carlton T., 1991. Indo-European and Afro-Asiatic. In Sidney M. Lamb and E. Douglas Mitchell, editors, sprung from some common source, Investigations into the Prehistory of Languages, Stanford, California, Stanford University Press, 141-165. Hunergard, John. 2004. Afro-Asiatic. In R. D. Woodard, editor, The Cambridge Encyclopedia of the World's Ancient Languages, Cambridge, New York, 2004, 138-159. Militarev, Alexander. Towards the Genetic Affiliation of Ongoda, a Nearly Extinct Language of Ethiopia. 60 pp. In Orientalia et Classica, Papers of the Institute of Oriental and Classical Studies, Issue 5. Moscow, forthcoming. Newman, Paul, 1980. The classification of Chadic within Afroasiatic. Leiden, Universitaire Pers Leiden. Rulin, Merritt, 1991. A Guide to the World's Languages. Stanford, California, Stanford University Press. Sands, Bonnie, 2009. Africa's Linguistic Diversity. In Language and Linguistics Compass 3.2, 559-580. Thiel, R. 2006. Is Omotic Afro-Asiatic? Proceedings from the David Dwyer Retirement Symposium, Michigan State University, East Lansing, 21 October 2006. Trombetti, Alfredo, 1905. L. Unida D. Origin del Linguaggio. Bologna, Luigi Beltrami. Zuckerman, Galad 2003. Language Contact and Lexical Enrichment in Israeli Hebrew, Palgrave Macmillan. External links Afro-Asiatic at the Linguist List Multitree Project, not functional as of 2014, Genealogical Trees Attributed to Delafosse 1914, Greenberg 1950-1955 Greenberg 1963, 
Fleming 1976 Hodge 1976, Oral and Stolbova 1995, Diakonoff 1996 to 1998, Eret 1995 to 2000, Hayward 2000, of 2005, Blench 2006, and Fleming 2006 Afro-Asiatic and Semitic genealogical trees presented by Alexander Militarev at his talk, Genealogical Classification of Afro-Asiatic Languages According to the Latest Data at the conference on the 70th anniversary of VM. Illich Svetich, Moscow, 2004, short annotations of the talks given there, in Russian, the prehistory of a dispersal, the Proto-Afrasian, Afroasiatic, farming lexicon, by Alexander Militarev in, examining the farming, language dispersal hypothesis, eds. P. Bellwood and C. Renfrew, MacDonald Institute Monographs, Cambridge, MacDonald Institute for Archaeological Research, 2002, p. 135-50. Once more about glottochronology and the comparative method, the Omotic Afrasian case, by Alexander Militarev in Aspects of Comparative Linguistics, v. 1. Moscow, RSUH, Publishers, 2005, pp. 339-408. Root Extension and Root Formation in Semitic and Afrasian, by Alexander Militarev in Proceedings of the Barcelona Symposium on Comparative Semitic, 19-20 of November 2004. Aula Orientalis 23 over 1-2, 2005, pp. 83-129. Akkadian Egyptian Lexical Matches, by Alexander Militarev in Papers on Semitic and Afroasiatic Linguistics in honor of Jean B. Gregg, ed., by Cynthia L. Miller. Studies in Ancient Oriental Civilization 60. Chicago, The Oriental Institute, 2007, p. 139-145. A comparison of oral Stolbovas and Eretz Afro-Asiatic reconstructions is Omotic Afro-Asiatic, by Rolf Thiel, 2006, NACAL The North American Conference on Afro-Asiatic Linguistics, now in its 35th year Afro-Asiatic webpage of Roger Blench with Family Tree.